Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm Steven Harrell, Tiny House Listings, and today I'm out here at the tiny house, and I thought it'd be kind of cool to cook up a solar lunch. I'm out here doing some work, so I figure while I'm working, I'll let the sun do some work for me. Uh, so today, uh, this is actually, I've done two videos, I think, in the past, cooking with this thing. So if you want to see how to use this and want more about it, just click right there. Um, but the short story is, this is a solar cooking oven, and it's made by... And it's made by Go Sun. Uh, they sent me this thing years ago, and it's I, I use it all the time. Actually, any chance I get, uh, I thought I'd bring you guys along, especially for people who are subscribers now who haven't gone back and maybe seen this thing before. Uh, but the basic idea is you put you cook food up. It's enough for one to two people. You slide it in this tray, put it in the sun, which we'll have to take this over to the sun. This is obviously in the shade, and um, let it cook uh, for about an hour. And the, the amazing thing about this is it'll get up to like 600 degrees. Uh, so hot, in fact, that you need to turn it away from the sun sometimes or close this a little bit. Uh, but anyways, uh, today on the menu is... Uh, we're going to put a sweet potato in there, some organic low-salt chickpeas, garbanzo beans, and in here we have some quinoa. As you can see, it's already been... Um, I've already put spices in there. It's got yellow curry, cumin, uh, red peppers, garam masala, a bunch of Indian spices, uh, so it should be good to smell. It smells pretty good, right? Yeah, you know, when I'm out here and I'm doing things like this, it makes me realize, like, this is kind of like what the whole tiny house movement is about, right? Doing things alternatively, uh, simply using energy around us, not uh, having to dig up energy out of the earth and process it and ship it and things like that. Uh, the sun's already there. We're just going to use it. And to me, that kind of embodies the whole idea behind tiny houses. It's doing things simply, doing things that sometimes take a little bit longer, but you have the freedom to take more time because you have less financial strain on yourself and um, I don't know, I think it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is completely bacheloresque. And so when you're cooking on the ghost hunt sport is what it's called. I was trying to think of that earlier. Uh, you want to point it directly towards the sun, maybe a little bit uh, west of it. So that way when it, you'll still be kind of ahead of the sun. And uh, depending on where the sun is, how high, like if it's summertime, you'll probably want to hit it straight up or like this. And in the winter uh, where the sun's lower, you can put it straight towards that. Uh, a little bit lower because the sun will be lower. But uh, just use your best judgment. This thing works really really well and it's super efficient so i'd say in about an hour we'll come back and check it out i've actually made this exact meal before well, actually it wasn't the same exact meal but a very similar meal and it worked beautifully so hopefully we'll have the same uh outcome this time it's been about an hour or so but there's the clouds came in so there's been it's been kind of intermittent but let's see what we got yeah that's definitely ready See a lot of these trees, these small hardwoods in the background that we cut down for more uh, sun on my father's solar panels and those are going to be perfect this winter. We're going to process those soon for the wood stove. We're going to be installing a wood stove in the tiny house. There you have it, a nice vegan meal cooked with the sun. What else would be really good for this meal is uh, while the food's really, really hot still, cut up some either kale or spinach really, really fine and small and blend it in and let it kind of cook from the heat. I think that'd be really good. Plus add a little bit of health value to it. All right, well there you have it, a quick meal cooked uh, with the Go Sun Sport. They have other uh, products too on their site, like bigger ones if you have a bigger crowd. Uh, they even have ones that generate heat after the sun has gone down with the battery, they capture solar energy with, through the battery or something like that. Really cool uh, to keep things warm or maybe even cook, I'm not sure. Um, I'm definitely not the preachy vegan type, but you should definitely try it. I've been vegan for all of 2018. I feel really, really good. Uh, I know that's not the purpose of this channel, although I'd mention it. Maybe give it a try. Uh, but if you're the meat type, more power to you. Uh, either way, I appreciate you watching and we'll see you on the next video.